Hello comrades, good morning, afternoon and evening depending on when you are listening to this. Okay, so this is Silsen Chrome extension which was released some few days back and since then some people have been having challenges. We've been explaining that some are still requesting for a video, alright? So I just decided to do this video and to do, the, to do this video I had to uninstall mine, alright? So we start from the beginning. Okay, so what will you need? You will need the Chrome extension link that is the Sirisen extension link all right which I will drop at the description section of this video you can get it from there or you can as well go to X and you get it from the Sirisen telegram page all right but to make it easier for you you can just go to the description section of this video and you will see it right there you just copy after copying what else do you need you need uh, a browser such as Kiwi or Mrs. All right. So you need either of these. You can use either this or this. All right. But in this video, I will use this Mrs. All right. I'll use Mrs. So once you have Mrs. Browser, you come up here. You paste the link which you've copied from the description section of this video or from the sales end page, wherever. But make sure you have the correct link don't just copy the links from anywhere you can get the link from the description section of this video or from the silsen x handle make sure it is a verified handle all right but not to get yourself confused just copy from the description section all right so once you paste it right here you load it you can see you load it you load okay and make sure the page this your page is on desktop mode all right so to set it on desktop mode as mine is you see this three dots at the uh, bottom right corner right here you click on it make sure it is on desktop mode you can set it okay mine was not even on desktop mode all right so let's check it if it's now on desktop mode all right it's now on desktop mode so once it's there you can see at the top right corner right here let's zoom it let's zoom it you can see right here add to chrome okay so that is it once you see remove from chrome it means it has been added all right it has been added you are good to go what else do you need you need now to create the wallet all right you need now to create it so where do you get where do you go to to see the extension you've just installed you can see this at the bottom this this here you click on it right here once you click on it you have access to all the extensions you have all right in this particular browser so you can see it here this is it Sirsen, which has just been installed Okay, let me just remove it. Okay, anyways, let me just remove it so you see what I'm talking about. When I remove it from here, you won't see it here. Let me remove it. Let's check it again. You can see this is practicals. It has disappeared. Now, let me click on Add to Chrome. Once you see Remove from Chrome, it means it has been added. Let's check it again. You can see it right here. All right. So we open it. Once you open it, you click on next, next until you see finish. Once you click on that, what else do you need? You can now create your wallet. All right, you create your wallet. But for those who already have, if you already have a wallet, a serious wallet, all right, and you want to install it in a different phone, what you need to do is to import the existing wallet using the seed phrase. But if you've not yet created a Sirsen wallet, you, cl you click on create new wallet. Let's do it. So, anyways, this is not my wallet, all right? I will delete this particular wallet after I'm done with this. So, you receive this seed phrase. You receive this, which you should copy and keep offline. Very important for any wallet you are creating. Very, very important to keep it offline because your phone might get missing. You might screenshot and you forget to back it up all right so make sure you always keep it offline so you copy this and keep somewhere okay 
let me copy it so we continue let me just okay so after copying the citrus what do you do next you click right here i have securely backed up my citrus you mark on you mark it you click on next set pin you set your password all right set a password which you can remember because you will be needing the password each time you want to send out any coin or token or you want to send an email you will need the, the, the pin so you set a pin which you can remember so you create something which you can not forget all right and then you now click on create wallet so that is it so once you've created the wallet it appears this way what else do you need you need to activate the wallet this year you see the wallet is not active to activate send okay and send a small amount of ion age is 0 0.05 so you can send one ICA all right you send one ICA to send the ICA you click here you copy this address and send to the person who wants to send you the ice all right you send to the person who wants, who wants to send you the ice and if you don't have access to search then you can come to my x page there is a post there where i'm sharing ice you just click on it and then you paste your address and i will send you so i will send you one ice after sending the ice you need to send out a portion of the ice to an ion address you will see an address right there or if you have someone who already has a wallet that is an ion wallet you can send the ice to the person you can send zero point something all right a fraction of it and once you do that you refresh the page okay let me just do it let's do it practically all right let me send ice i i will just waste my eyes now <laughs> okay so I think it is understood. Mm? It, is, it is understood. You just click here. You send the wallet to somebody, who, the person who wants to send you the ice. When you receive it, it will show here. It will show on this balance. After that, what next do you do? You click on send. All right. Then you paste the address you want to send to. After you have received it, you have to send it back, but not all. You can send a portion of it, like 0 0.5 or 0 0.1. You paste the address here, you paste the quantity, you put in the password, the PIN, which you created not, not long ago, and then you can send as easy as this. Once that is done, you refresh the page and you will see right here, active. Like this. Just let me show on my X page. Okay, you will see something like you see this you can see right here wallet address you will see active let's open it you will see active all right and then after that you can send out an email to someone to a friend all right so let's just check it out you just come here you paste any email address you know and you will click on send all right it is this part is not mandatory but it is recommended all right so after your wallet has been um activated you can come here and just send an email to someone just put in an email email in here and you click on send and you are good to go you are ready to receive you are ready for the upcoming sales send token distribution i hope this was helpful if you found this helpful do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to this youtube channel if you've not done so do have a blessed day